One of Fremont High's most prominent sports in the spring has always been track and field. It's a sport that brings in a diverse amount of talent and strength through all of its athletes. Track and field can range from the muscle strength of its shot put and discus throwers to the other side of the athletic spectrum of the long distance runners and hurdlers. And let's not forget the more form focused events of long jump, pole vault and the sprinting events. We've had a, a good tradition of having uh, top quality kids in our program. That's something that we want to continue. We have we strive to have kids with class that uh, are well respected around the school and, and uh, good students. And that's something that we'll continue to strive for. In the Fremont High boys track team alone, about 100 athletes spanning from a vast number of other sports during the school year and their year coming to join the team in the spring. Only 19 of them are returning letter winners, and there are only seven state qualifiers returning this year, including the 4 by 800 meter relay runners Preston Decker, Brock Hegarty, and Jake Weston. The 4 by 100 meter relay runners Matt Rodriguez Benjamin and Sean Lambert, Sage Rieger in the 3200 meter race, and pole vaulter Jake Selling. We've had guys go to camps in the summer and that sort of stuff. So yeah, there's if um, you know if guys want to put in the time, there's always stuff that, that uh, we're doing. Uh, there are lift they lift weights all summer long. A lot of them are football guys and uh, linemen and that sort of stuff. So they're always lifting weights all summer long. After the season, it's really important, especially for distance running, that they decompress, get time off. You just have to do that in order to uh, be able to set your peak cycle up for the next year. But not too long, you know, two to three weeks after that, we want to start getting conditioning for the next year. With such a varied amount of students rolling in for the season, there comes a disconnect between the different groups of the athletes. As soon as the athletes complete their warm-ups and speeches from head coach Dave Sellen, along with the other assistant coaches, each group of athletes in their events split into their own set of workouts and training. We, over the years, have worked really hard to, to maintain a, a full team philosophy where everybody gets to know each other. Uh, and everybody feels like they're doing their part for the good of the whole group. And I think that uh, concept uh, can be very powerful and has been very beneficial for us. That's always, I mean, for all six of our boys coaches, that's a, it's a definite concern because we're talking 90 to 100 people that come from different sports, different backgrounds, have different event areas. It's to, to officially be able to say, hey, we got this happy, harmonious melting pot. You know, you basically take care of every body type. You know, you got the speed, the sprinters that do their own thing. You got the jumpers, you got pull, and, and they're all different. And we're out in the field, we're way out there in no man's land throwing shot and disc. But at the end of the day, a lot of what's cool is to see the runners over there cheering us on when we're throwing. And then uh, when we're done throwing, seeing all the big guys out there on the track uh, cheering on the little guys running. Along with the team's divide comes their large collection of new fresh athletes. Over 30 freshmen have joined the track team this season. Looking at the team coming in, this, this group will be a little overall a little younger. I think overall have a little more depth. We'll be able to fill out uh, each event maybe a little deeper than we have the last few years. So our state meet firepower might not be quite as big as it's been, but I think overall team-wise at 18 invites, I think we'll, we'll do really well. Though the boys' team may have many new, fresh athletes than there are upperclassmen, each coach believes that a fresh, large team will equal an overall strong team. We have considerable more depth this year. We may, may not have a 152 half miler like we had last year, but uh, where we had a drop off from him to the second guy, now we have six, eight, ten guys who are very, very close to the same level and have risen greatly from last year to this year. So it's just fun to watch them compete. You know, I try, I try not to get too, uh, too excited because I don't want them to get, you don't want them to get nervous. You, know, you just want them, like I said, it's, it's exciting to see because you just hope that they do the best that they can do. It's just fun to see because you're out there practicing every day. Uh, now it's time to see how they took what we've done in practice and can they apply it to the to the meet? Uh, probably the main thing that I learned from my high school coach was that it, it's it's always more important to take care of the athletes. You're there to help high school students grow and learn from the process. It's not about winning and losing. For the Tigers, it'll be a fast-paced season for all of the new athletes. But Selen said it'll be the experience that truly makes it worth it. This is a Fremont High Rustler report by Sage Rieger.